Welcome to Word2010MadeEasy.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to insert headers and footers into a Word document. It's very easy to put headers and footers into Word. You first go up to the ribbon and select the Insert tab. Then you go over to where it says Header. Click on it. You have several options. I'm going to choose Blank. It has now placed a placeholder for me to type my text. Notice how the text on the page has been grayed out. We now can only type in the header. I'm going to put in my company. I'm going to format the text. I'm going to highlight the text. A format box appears above it. I'm going to bold the text and I'm going to increase the font size to 16. Let's put the cursor in front of the text. Now I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going up to the picture icon. Up comes the default folder. I've got a logo artwork here. I'm going to click on that. Click insert. It's a little big. I'm going to size it by dragging the handles. And let's put a space in between the logo and the text. The text now appears to be pretty close to the margin. We can change that by going up to the page layout tab, selecting margins, going down to custom margins, now we're going to add a little bit of top margin. 1.5 should be fine. Click OK. Now there's good clearance between the logo and the text. As we scroll down, we can see that the header is now on every page. We can also add something to the footer. If you look up to the top of the page here, you can see this green tab, Header and Footer Tools. This is exposed when we are working the header and footer. Let's click on that. Let's go add a page number. We click on the page number icon. We go to bottom of the page. I'm going to select plain number. Now a page number appears below. This will change for every page that we're on. I'm going to put some text in front of it. Now as we scroll down we can see that on each footer it will display the page number. Now to get out a page header and footer we just click on the text. Now we're into editing the text. As we scroll up we can see the header and the footer. They're grayed out but now they're going to appear on every page. There you have it. You now know how to edit headers and footers. To learn more about Microsoft Word 2010, visit our website, word2010madeeasy.com. You can also find out about our ebook. See you on the next video.